Hi readers, Mrs. Cooley here. Good to see you again. For today's reading skills lesson, we're going to start with blending and segmenting. We've been doing some blending. G, O, go. D, A, G, dog. We've been starting with the little sounds of a word and then blending them together, smoothing them out to say the word. Well, today we're going to do the opposite. We're going to segment the sounds. I'm going to give you a whole word and you're going to listen for the little sounds that make up that word. Let's get started. We're going to start with a whole word that we pound into our fist and then we're going to segment the little sounds that we hear. So the first word is day. Pound it with me. Day. Now segment the little sounds that you hear. D, A. Right, there are two sounds in the word day. How about the word my? Pound it with me. My, M, I. Two sounds in the word my. Let's do the word duck. Pound it. Duck. D, A. Right, there are three sounds in the word duck. And now let's do the word big. Big. B, I, G. Three sounds in the word big. Great job segmenting sounds, readers. Let's practice the letter sounds we've learned so far. I'm going to hold up a letter and you make the sound that that letter says. D. K. G. Great job with the consonant sounds. Are you ready for the vowels? What sound does this vowel say? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, eh. Eh. Are you ready to learn the next letter sound? The next letter sound is n. Make that sound with me. N. Look at the shape of my mouth. N. And listen for these words that begin with the n sound. Nurse, night, neck, nest. Yeah. So now look at these pictures and say the words that you see in the pictures. They're all going to start with the n sound. I'm going to read a little story that has lots of words in it that begin with the n sound. Anytime you hear a word that begins with n, raise a little finger in the air to show me that you can hear it too. My new neighbor has a baby named Ned. The noisy Baby never stops crying. I wish noisy Ned would take a nap. Let me show you the picture we draw to represent the N sound. There it is, letter N. Here's uppercase N and lowercase n. To make uppercase n, you're starting at the top, big line down, jump up, big line down, big line up. Let me do that one more time. Big line down, jump up, big line down, big line up. N. For lowercase n, 
It's one of those letters that dives down into a swimming pool and then swims back up again. Dive down, swim up and over, stop. Dive down, swim up and over, stop. There's your lowercase n. N says n. Say that with me. N says n. Can I tell you something? The n sound is a lot like the m sound. N, m. They even look a lot alike. It's like the M is two N's put together. But let's listen for the difference. N, M. N, M. Do you notice something different about my mouth? N, M. You're right. My mouth is a little bit open N, with this sound, but closed M, with the Mm, M sound. I'm going to say some words and see if you can hear whether they begin with N mm or M. Mm. Nice. Nice. Mice. Mice. Met. Met. Net. Net. No. No. Mo. Mo. Great job listening for the little difference between those two sounds. Now, of course, some words end with the n sound. Listen for the endings of these words. Fun. Run. Shine. Every time I'm ending with the N. I'm going to show you some pictures of words that end with the N sound, and I want you to say those words when you see the pictures. Readers, we can read even more words now. Let's read these words together. N odd, nod, nod. N ought, not, not. D ought, d ought, dot. G ought got K ought caught K at K at cat. M at mat mat. Keep up the great work, readers. And I bet if you look around your classroom right now, you can probably find the letter N. You might see an uppercase N or a lowercase N. Look around, and if you see one, make the N sound.